take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. In general, however, essential oils are safe when used externally, not ingested in low concentrations. For skin applications, that usually means concentrations no higher than 5%. For inhalation, use intermittent exposure, not more than 15 minutes in an hour. Let's help you make your mark. There have been anecdotal claims of respiratory issues for people with or without asthma due to airborne irritants from a variety of diffused essential oils. Vox within the diffused oils can affect indoor air quality causing a similar pollutant effect as air fresheners, scented candles, and incense.28 December 2017. Take our lead. Here's what you can do, if you want the support of essential oils for sleep, consider diffusing them 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Put the diffuser on in your bedroom and close the door behind you, ideally watch TV or read in another room, and allow the bedroom to fill with the scent of the essential oils. Point three zero April 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. Don't overdo it. More of a good thing is not always good. Even when diluted, an essential oil can cause a bad reaction if you use too much or use it too often. That's true even if you're not allergic or unusually sensitive to them. Point one three August 2018. Let's help you make your mark. Lavender oil is generally not poisonous in adults when breathed in during aromatherapy or swallowed in smaller amounts. It may cause a reaction in children who swallow small amounts. The major effects are due to allergic reactions of the skin. Point 3 October 2019. Take our lead. Their antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral properties make them a useful product in your medicine cabinet. They have also been shown to promote healthy sleep, relieve headaches, and alleviate pain. In addition, essential oils can improve skin conditions, help treat the common cold, and encourage healthy digestion. Point 9 August 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. Don't neglect your diffuser, or your reaction to oils This is especially important for diffusers utilizing water, which can harbor bacteria that can affect indoor air quality, making you sick. Point seven September 2017. Take our lead. And because there's no regulation, the label may not even list everything that's in the bottle you're buying. That's why essential oils should not be ingested. Johns Hopkins also advises against using essential oil diffusers, small household appliances that create scented vapor. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.